Welcome to Stone Church. We're so glad that you're here. If you're new to Stone, we'd love to help you get connected. Simply go to connect.mystone.ca and we can connect you with some great people, programs, and events. We've got a lot going on, so let's take a look. Are you interested in becoming a member of Stone Church? Our next membership service is Sunday, October 6th. For more information and to sign up, go to events.mystone.ca. Auditions are open for this year's Christmas presentation. To audition, head to events.mystone.ca for more information and to sign up. We had such a great time at our worship night this past summer. And guess what? We're going to do it again. So this fall, join us on October 23rd at our Danforth campus. Invite your friends, invite your family for a night of worship. And head over to events.mystone.ca for more information. Hope to see you there. As a church, we know giving is an important part of worship, and there are a few different ways you can give. You can give easily straight from your phone through the Church Center app. To get the app, scan the QR code on the screen and follow the prompts. You can also go to give.mystone.ca, and if you would like to give by check or with cash, please see one of our hospitality team after the service so they can help you with your giving as we continue to make our giving a thoughtful and cheerful act of worship. A seasoned pastor was once asked by a new Christian, when did you get saved? The pastor thoughtfully quipped, this morning. Although overly simplistic, the response was meant to reflect the reality that our relationship with Jesus is not simply measured in one static moment of confession, but upon an ongoing healthy reliance on Christ. In a similar manner, as followers of Jesus, our relationships with one another are not meant to be moments siloed in the past, but are to be lived out together today with an expectation for the future. September 30th may be recognized as National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, but as followers of Christ, we are to be fully aware that every day is a day for the truth of Christ and the ministry of reconciliation. To reconcile is not just a lofty ideal or a distant goal. It's a concept that's deeply embedded in the Creator Himself. Biblically, it's a core theme woven throughout the scriptures and central to the teachings of Jesus Christ. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 18 and 19, reconciliation is portrayed not as just a divine act, but a responsibility entrusted to all of us. It's about restoring relationships, healing divisions, and extending grace. But how does this timeless concept translate into our daily lives? It means actively seeking to understand and heal the wounds within our communities. It requires us to listen, to learn, and to act with intention. Reconciliation is not a one-time symbolic gesture. It's an ongoing process. It involves daily choices, the choice to listen with empathy, to speak with respect, and to act with integrity. And so as we reflect upon National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, let us give consideration how we all might live this out. Let's engage in conversations that foster understanding. We can be involved and support initiatives like the James Kalapa Indigenous Leadership Fund or the Meal Wakotuan Journey, which is a church-to-church -church partnership initiative. At the very least, let's do life together and be people who foster unity and who live out our shared values with intention and compassion. Reconciliation is both a spiritual and a practical journey. It's a call to action that invites us to be agents of healing and hope. May we all strive to make truth and reconciliation a living reality in our lives every day. For further information, please go to stonechurch.ca. Now let's enjoy the rest of our service. <laughs> 